guys, welcome to HSC Goals. Relocating to Canada, countries in Europe like UK, Poland, and Australia has become the trend in 2022. Most people are relocating in different occupations. But if you want to relocate as an OSH practitioner, there are just a few steps that you need to do. The major requirement is a minimum of a two-year certificate in occupational health and safety from a recognized university or college in any country. Then you must have a qualification that, that is called NEBOSH. NEBOSH, you can have either the general certificate or the diploma. So NEBOSH uh, normally talks about uh, occupational health and safety legislation and requirements for UK but it's also recognized in uh, Canada but mostly Canada recognizes any courses by OSHA which is occupational health uh, and safety authority and normally it policies uh, occupational health and safety in the Americas so Having this qualification, there's also a need to demonstrate proof that you have experience uh, within occupational health and safety in whatever country you have. And you must also have three years of what you call CPD or continuous professional development. This just means that um, every year as an OSH practitioner, you have to learn or you have to go back and do certain courses, um, renew the courses that you might have in um, any topic on safety and health because legislation changes every time, technology changes every time. So you need to prep yourself and make sure that you take uh, um, into consideration those changes that are happening nationally or globally or regionally concerning health and safety and you must know that in Canada health and safety stand together while this environmental management stands alone so um, you also need to verify your qualifications um, if you have a qualification that you've done uh, that degree or diploma you have done outside of uh, Canada or America it means you sent to the Canadian um, qualifications authority and they do a verification for you you pay the cost of that as um, uh, as uh, their client then after verification you need to register to a board of um, Canadian registered safety professionals which is CRSP in capital letters they have an assessment so you apply to them and they tell you what to do then you obviously they'll set a date for the assessment to be done and the assessment is roughly a three hour assessment which has 190 to 200 uh, questions and it's a closed book assessment so you have to read a lot concerning the legislation of um, Canada in the areas of health and safety within the workplace then you must also write your language assessment or language test which is IELTS uh, so they accept um, IELTS or any other qualifications TFE L or IIEB and you can ensure that you are able to speak English, to write, and you are able to communicate in English. Most of the states in Canada use English, but there are some that exclusively use French. And some use both English and French. So it's good that when you have your language assessment, you're good to go. Then lastly, um, you do your immigration stuff um, you look at the states that you want to go look for 
places where occupational safety and health are mostly required then you'll be able to apply for a skilled workers permit for you to go so the skills workers permit um it's so easy to get if you have all these qualifications and all this paperwork within reach and you can then migrate but you must make sure that you look for a job first before you go and i must say that canada is one of those multicultural places and there are a lot of jobs for operational health and safety practitioners um, and you can migrate anytime you want as long as you have your monies in place your proof of funds if you don't have a proof of funds be sure to have um, a job offer when you apply for your skilled workers permit then you can use one of those um, agents to, to to relocate but you must also be careful scams are very very real and when you look for a job you can go on the job pay job bank of Canada there's so many verified jobs there for occupational health and safety um, you must also know that you can be a safety and health practitioner in the construction uh, in the medical field and stuff stuff but the main registration uh, board is CRSP but for the construction there's another one that is completely different so if you want to relocate get ready and do the stuff then you can go guys thank you for watching thank you for tuning in like my videos and subscribe then you can get more content on OHS bye